get sushi. It's actually lunchtime now. I just spent the morning replying to your guys' comments and just chilling, editing a few photos for Instagram. Tama got called out in my comments about his beard, saying it's not Movember anymore. Are you gonna keep it? Or are you gonna no, shave it? I'll shave it. Yeah. It's too hot for me. Yeah. Actually, does it make your face hotter? Oh, your sushi's ready. I think I need another plate. I've still got some chocolate. I've got all the baby berries left. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna dip these, but I ran out of space. Hey guys, I'm finally wearing a bit of makeup in this like vlogmas series. I'm just getting ready to go to Christmas at the Bowl tonight and I decided to do, well, I was thinking about doing a series on my Instagram because I was sort of inspired by doing lip art. I thought I might do some more sort of creative style makeup. I swear I have upper lip sweat. Oh my gosh, I do. It's like crazy hot here. Um, but I wanted to do designer inspired makeup. I don't know if anybody's done that before. It's just like something that randomly came to me. So I wanted to start off with Gucci, which I thought I may as well do tonight since it's like Christmassy as well. So I've just done, if I zoom you in, hopefully you can see a bit better. I just did the red and green eyeliner and then obviously, oh, green lips. I scrubbed my fake tan off, so I was worried sometimes makeup doesn't show up as well with no fake tan, but I feel like this look is really striking with no tan, so I'm so stoked with how it turned out. Now I'm going to go and pop in my Christmas earrings. <laughs> um, I just wrapped my secret Santa present for one of my friends. I'm so excited. Just picking up my strawbs. I'm doing it last minute because I'm scared that they're going to melt. It's so hot today, seriously. Like, look at my hair. What is, what is this? I'm wearing a jacket anyway, though, because I feel like it will get colder tonight. But yeah, just popping these in the container. Tama just tried a sneaky one and he approved, so that's good. That means that they're yummy. I think I did a pretty good job, to be honest. They look quite profesh. We're also not sure, like, I'm pretty sure you can bring alcohol in. I feel like I always see, like, mums with, like, a bottle of wine or, like, cider. But I don't know whether to bring bubbles or not because I don't want it to get confiscated. I really want to make these one day, but, like, put sprinkles and bits of pretzels and stuff on them because I've seen that on, um like Pinterest and I think it looks really pretty. But I just did plain chocolate. Don't worry, I washed my hands before I did this. Should be enough for four people, hopefully. Oh no, I totally like munted that one. Oh well, time I can have that one. <laughs> Cause it's ugly. Just made it to the park slash the bowl. This is what I was telling you guys about yesterday. You can see it's literally huge and it goes all the way up behind us. We get some snacks, we get our secret Santa. We're just waiting on our friend Caitlin to arrive. I just noticed there's even a little Christmas tree on the stage. Bless. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my god! You get the glasses.
We have aborted mission. It was so rainy. We just got back into the car and I'm so sad because now we don't get to see the fireworks but literally like half the people left. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin's mom is featuring in the vlog. Mom, you're in the vlog. The guests are taking from the guest jar. <laughs> my mom already took heaps of stuff. I'm filming for Sally. She wants me to open my advent calendar. I've got three, so like this could take a while. <laughs> so like feral, I'm just like, Bleh. there's a knife. Oh, an eyelash curler. That's a good one. I need another one of these. I'm like, I want my candy surprise. See, this is like not the right size to come out. Oh. Why they do this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do you see the swatch? That's so perfect at the moment, Sally, because I got sunburnt lips and they've been peeling. Oh, I just remembered like you used to have dry lips, but I don't oh. know if you still do. And I was like, well, this is festive. Yes, it's perfect. So it's like good to get. I love it. Vlogmas. I don't like it. I love it. This one's easy. Head up is okay. Okay, yep, okay. <laughs> Do all lips. Oh, well, this is my favorite. The matte looks. This one's oh. brown, though. We have the shade up the base. That reminds me of I Love You Man, and he's like, slap it a bass. <laughs> slap it a bass, mum. Hello, guys. This is where I sign off. But first, I'm going to answer a question from one of you. I just wiped off my crazy lip color and changed into this Tapuni shirt, which is a haul that Tommy used to live in when he was at uni and I always steal the shirts. It's so comfy. Olivia Crothers or Crothers, I'm not sure if that's correct pronunciation. Sorry if it's not. She wants to know how did you and Shan meet? I love you so much. Thank you, girl. I love you too. Thank you for writing a comment. Um, we met just through social media, but keep in mind this was years ago, like Nowadays, it sounds so sad, but it's just the sad truth. You pretty much can't trust anyone that's like a fellow blogger that you've never met before because often people who are super friendly just want something from you and it's just like the sad reality of this whole industry. There's a lot of like, you know, people with big egos, people that want to get up there and get their page out there and, you know, a way to do that is to collaborate with people. But me being naive so many times I've just thought people want to be friends but that's actually not their like true intention so this is before people were like that this is like probably five or six years ago now like ages ago and for us it was so exciting we must have just stumbled across each other's channels I think I definitely was watching her before um she would have found my videos because she still had quite a big following compared to me at the time I just randomly started making little tutorials and stuff when I was at uni as a hobby and we must have just written on each other's videos. I don't remember, but I do remember the night we met up, we were talking on Twitter and I gave her my phone number like through Twitter cause she tweeted me or did she write on my photo? I can't remember, but she was like, Hey, we're in town too. Like we're out clubbing tonight. I must have posted like a make for the night. And um, yeah, she's like, Oh, like come meet us and hang out with us. Cause she was with Hamish and I was like, yes, I'm so keen. Cause we'd been talking online, obviously. We'd become like online friends. And then, yeah, I guess the ice was already broken because we were both quite tiddly and we just had the best night ever in town. And ever since then, we hung out. Like, we started going to the mall together and going shopping because we obviously were both into makeup and back then, not that many girls were into makeup. Okay, I'm going to do another question because I feel like I have probably answered that one before, but I guess not everybody knows. Brooke wants to know if you ever had a white Christmas. If not, would you like to and where would you want to go? I've never had a white Christmas, no, I don't think I've ever been overseas for Christmas because obviously, you know, it's more of a family holiday and my family either are from New Zealand or they come home to New Zealand for the break, but if I was ever to travel, I'd love to go to probably the UK 
or maybe the US, but I have a feeling, I don't know if this is right, but I feel like it would snow more in the UK or maybe even Canada. I just love to go somewhere where it's likely to actually snow. And um, I've got to say, yeah, the US or the UK would be amazing because I know they're so into just decking everything out super Christmassy. It would be so fun to drink, you know, warm hot cocos and like go to the big department stores and see Christmas parades but it'd all be like snowy it'd be like watching a movie for me because we don't have that here I'm really sorry I'm not going to get a chance to answer them all or this will just turn into a Q&A but I'll definitely answer some more tomorrow as well so if you did leave a question and they didn't answer it you know don't worry um Lindsay wants to know who are your favorite YouTubers I just want to start off by saying that I'm so busy these days I don't actually watch a whole lot of YouTube when I'm on the YouTube website I'm usually replying to your guys comments preparing something to upload doing something in my video manager and my analytics like just doing more work stuff and you know when I stop to have some lunch or something then I'll click someone's video and obviously I love my friends videos I do actually catch up with them in real life so if it's like a life update or so, you know sometimes I don't even watch their videos which sounds really mean but I know that they don't even watch mine half the time it's just the way it is I'm trying to think of some more like quirky channels that I watch I love I'm gonna have to link it down below I forgot the name of the channel I think it starts with B and it's all documentaries it's amazing they upload all the time you know it'll be like the world's tallest man or it'll be about you know following people with eating disorders or just really you know interesting things about criminal history or they're just really really interesting documentaries so that's a really cool channel I often watch their stuff lately I've been watching Dan and Phil games I don't know about their main channels like I think it came up when they recommended that they played Club Penguin or something and it made me click it because I used to play that and I find them very easy to listen to I'm not like a huge crazy fan like I know some people just absolutely adore them but I think yeah they have a really easy going style of video it's really easy to listen to like I'll often just pop it on if I'm doing some work in the evening like even if I'm just sleeping in bed I'll listen to one of their videos or like a Shane Dawson podcast because I don't know it's just like so easy to, to fall asleep to that sounds really bad like the content's boring but it's not like that at all like it's interesting but it's like calming at the same time I guess it's very different from what I put on YouTube so I kind of enjoy it my favorite vlogger at the moment is Alex from HRH collection I think she's been doing vlogs forever but I never found her channel before and she's like so bougie she actually followed my Instagram which was really cool but I think it's because I've worn her jewelry before and like posted about it we live very different lifestyles I would love to be able to buy all the designer bags and stuff that she buys but budget doesn't really allow for that but I think it's fun to watch youtubers like that and I love how frank and honest she is she's quite a controversial youtuber definitely like she'll say something like oh my gosh I hate fast food workers whatever it's like how you would talk to a friend but people can't say stuff like that on the internet because then someone will say well my uncle works in fast food and that's really rude or you know she's not like basically if you take things really personally and you're not you're like very PC you couldn't watch your videos but I find them really entertaining and um, she's very similar to me she loves like pink stuff she loves a lot of like Korean, Japanese, Asian inspired things and then she loves like luxury stuff. I just find her very easy to watch and it's such a different life that I lead. Like she lives in LA. So those are probably my three favorite at the moment. Documentary channel, Dan and Phil Games and HRH Collection. I'll link them all down below. Not that any of them probably need a plug. Those are the three that I'll actually click when I see them. Now I'm gonna go take this makeup off, quickly edit this vlog and jump into bed. Tum is watching some Netflix I think so I'm gonna go and join him. Oh, I'm so like content. That was such a fun night. Kind of a bummer that it rained before the fireworks because I was looking forward to those but we still you know got to all hang out, have our little picnic and our secret Santa before all the weather like turned to crap so it's okay, it could have been worse. I love you guys and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.